Y'all wanna see Raz run out the door? It's potty time. Potty time. Nice. And pull on mama. <laughs> Don't close it. I gotta put this out there. Picked up a new rug. So we're gonna put this outside. No more Christmas. So sad. It's just the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, there we go and here we go I don't want to see that and there it is the new welcome love it now look at that puppy Well, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for choosing this channel to stop by and watch what I meal prep this week. So right now, as you can see, Raz is outside. If you're wondering where I got the rug from, I did pick that up at Target for $12.99, and I love it. So we're going to make some meal prep for Raz. Now, this meal prep does last her the entire week, and I am using some grass-fed ground beef and I'm going to use this vegetable pack and then we add her dog food to that as well now this meat does not get drained so it does have all the fat in it that she truly enjoys so she gets excited when she gets this fresh meat now you can feed dogs raw meat but I choose not to Per her vet, she does have the same condition that I have where her body produces extra acid and she will start vomiting if it's too much acid in her stomach. So she has gastritis just like I do. So it is suggested that we go ahead and cook her meat. That way it breaks down just a little bit more because she is an older dog and we've never fed her meat before. So to change her diet that drastically would be something that wouldn't be good for her stomach. So I'm just going to go ahead and cook this up for her. I hate the feel of meat. Now that I don't eat it, I haven't gotten used to it in a very long time. This is something that Tati does a lot of the time because, <clears throat> because it is her dog. So this is something that she will do, but today I decided to go ahead and do it for her just so I can film it for you guys. Now Tati Tati does fix uh, Raz fish sometimes, or she'll have uh, some type of pork sometimes, but she cannot digest chicken, and we haven't tried turkey in a long time, so we will be trying that soon just to see if she has any type of digestion issues with that. She does have like an acid reflux type of peel whenever she gets to the point where she is vomiting and yes that is vet prescribed so it is mainly just for dogs so here I'm just adding in those veggies and I'm just warming it up here not really cooking it because before you saw I put it in the microwave and I just wanted to warm it up and break it up a little bit more it's not fully defrost I did want to cook it with the meat and let the vegetables absorb some of the flavor of the meat and as you can see there are no seasonings you don't want to season your dog food with any type of salt pepper garlic or onions garlic and onions are very dangerous for dogs so you might want to make sure that they don't consume those items so I'm just mixing that up for her and later on I'm going to put it in a bowl so go ahead and enjoy from here you guys
Now that I'm all done washing up the dishes from cooking Raz's food, I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on 350 and make myself some Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight. So here we have some Brussels sprouts I picked up around Christmas time. And as you can see, they are turning brown on me. So I want to go ahead and get those cooked up and I'm going to have them for dinner tonight. Now I am using olive oil here, but you can use vegetable oil or you can use a chicken stock or beef stock if you do not want to use oil I'm going to go ahead and use pepper salt and garlic powder and that is what I enjoy on my Brussels sprouts I also use about a tablespoon of brown sugar and I love that I have organic vegan brown sugar now and I don't show that here but I do show it after I roasted I add that to my Brussels sprouts so, oh, I did or well, <laughs> I did add in some onion powder as well. I did forget that. So great thing I am doing this voiceover. So with my clean hands, I'm just going to mix those all together. I want to get the oil all over most of the Brussels sprouts as well as the seasoning. So I'm just going to toss that a little bit and then I'm going to spread it out to a single layer as much as possible it really will overlap and steam a little bit as the brussels sprouts release their own oils and water into the oven and these come out so crispy and so nice i just truly enjoy it so we're just going to go ahead and add that to the oven and then we're going to set the timer and i just set the timer for about 30 minutes and I check on it from there. These do take about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how roasted you want them. So really quickly, I wanted to show you what I picked up at Walmart. I haven't been enjoying, enjoying the Lemmy Shine dish detergents, so I went back to the Cascade Free and Clear. So I picked that up at Walmart this time. And I saw a video where a doctor or dermatologist suggested that the older you get, you should use some retinol. Now, she suggested retinol 24, but I could not find that at Walmart. So I'm going to try this Olay at night. It does say day and night cream, but I'm going to try it at night and see how my skin is feeling. So far, I've used it for two days and it feels soft and smooth, so I'm enjoying that. And of course, I like to stay hydrated. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.